Good morning. I'm going to make some percolated coffee in, on the stove. I have used this cup to measure my water because I want to have two cups of coffee. So I fill the cup to the top with water. Boom, boom. And I've wet my basket because if you don't wet the basket, the coffee funk comes through the bottom. And we'll put that. I'm trying to avoid having grinds in my coffee. Don't forget to put the little cap on. And the cover. This one has a glass top so you can see it perking. And you bring it to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, you got to kind of pay attention. Once it comes to a boil, you turn it down. I have an electric stove. You turn it down to like four. And you let it simmer for ten minutes. It'll keep burbling. And you'll see the color get darker. And that's it. It's very simple. Better coffee, better tasting coffee than an electric drip or the Keurig, which you cannot clean. Thoroughly. I know people like to argue with me on that point, but, you know, just try taking it apart and cleaning. Hands-on cleaning those little hoses and stuff. You can't get to them. And just think about what happens when water sits inside small spaces. It gets all slimy. So, I'm done with that. I'm do This is how I'm having my coffee now. It's very good. Um... For two mugs, this morning I put in three flat tablespoons of coffee. Because yesterday I put two in for two mugs and it was it was too weak. So, you adjust it and once you find the, the right recipe for you, you're good to go. Now I'll go do something to keep myself busy and uh, I'll be back.